This is the Amazon Echo Dot, a tiny speaker with virtual assistant Alexa built in. And this is the Amazon Echo Show, everything the Echo Dot can do, but with a built-in display. It comes in multiple sizes. The Echo Show 5 is the perfect bedside clock. The Echo Show 8 is for those who want an even bigger display. And the Echo Show 10, with its movable head, is the perfect companion in my kitchen. Ever since moving into my two-bedroom apartment here in New York, I've been on the lookout for devices that can make this home a smart home. And Amazon Alexa has been one of those devices. From the Echo Show that's in my office, to my Alexa-powered Oral-B toothbrush in my bathroom, to the Echo Show 10 that's in my kitchen. And so when Amazon reached out and asked if we could partner on a video, I was excited to be one of the first to check out the new Echo Show 15. I already have a few ideas of where I kind of want to put it in my apartment, but first we need to unbox it. So let's do that right now. Like every other Echo Show, it comes in this neon blue box and to open it up, we just pull on this seal over here. All right. There it is. First impressions, it looks like a large picture frame. It's a little bit heavy, but of course we're going to be mounting this on a wall. Also in the box, it looks like this is for mounting the display. It says, hello, hola, bonjour and Echo Show 15. I believe we can take it out like so. And yeah, this is definitely a mount for the display. And this is the user manual. Next up, a 30 watt power adapter. And last but not least, some mounting screws. You also get this mounting template, which I believe you can use to be able to affix the screws on the wall. And that was our unboxing. I'm going to set it up now, figure out where to mount it, and then I'll check back with you real soon. Okay, I'm back. Now, before we take a look at what the Echo Show 15 can do, let's first get the tech stuff out of the way. The display on this device measures 15.6 inches with a full HD resolution. Like a framed piece of art, there's a white matte border around the display and a dark gray aluminum frame. On the top left corner, there's a 5 megapixel front facing camera and on the top left hand side of the frame, a switch to cover said camera alongside three physical buttons, a dedicated mic camera on and off button and volume controls. On its back, there are speakers on both sides. And finally, a power port. The Echo Show 15 is powered by Amazon's latest AZ2 Neural Edge processor, which basically means it's faster. It's able to handle voice recognition on device, and it's capable of processing computer vision on the edge. More on that later. So after I unboxed the Echo Show 15, it took a while for me to decide where I wanted to place it permanently. It comes with a wall mount out of the box, but if you live in a rental like me and don't want to mess with the walls, Amazon also sells this tilt stand separately. It's also available as part of a bundle. Now, because my kitchen walls are tile, having the stand is perfect. That way I can keep it on my kitchen counter. I think the kitchen is a great place for it because I can look at my schedule when I have coffee in the morning and use it to show me recipes when I'm cooking. By the way, you can mount it horizontally or vertically. I also tried it on top of my bar cabinet alongside my plants. Sometimes I like to switch to photo frame mode so I can see cherished photos of my loved ones. And I love being able to see it from the end of my hallway. Eventually though, I settled on this location, in my actual hallway, so I can view my schedule as soon as I get out of my bedroom. It's also close to my office, so that way I can also quickly check to see who's at the door without having to walk to the other end of the house. I also like being able to keep track of my packages. Now, wherever you decide to place your Echo Show 15, don't forget it also makes a great entertainment device. 
Alexa, play ABC News. I like having it in my kitchen because it doubles as a TV for catching up on news while I have my morning coffee. It can also play movies on Prime Video, Netflix, and Hulu. And if you have it in vertical mode, imagine it as a large screen for hours of endless TikTok. It can also play music too. And if you have other Echo devices, you can combine speakers or play music across multiple rooms. New to the Echo Show 15, thanks to its larger display, is the ability to add and display Alexa widgets. Think of it as a digital bulletin board for you and your family. You can customize which widgets you want to display via the widgets gallery, which you can get to by swiping right from the main screen. Here's what I use. Staples like my calendar and the weather, deliveries, my shopping list, sticky notes, which I use for quick reminders and affirmations, and smart home favorites. You can easily add and remove widgets and rearrange them too. Now, if there are multiple people in your household, a feature called Visual ID helps identify you and gives you a personalized experience. It's not turned on by default. So to set it up, you can say, Alexa, learn my face. And now that Alexa knows what I look like, when I walk up, it'll say something like, good afternoon, Michael. And it can show my personal calendar and recently played music. Now, I know that some of you are wary of voice forward devices that are always listening or have cameras built in. Well, in the case of the Echo Show 15, you don't have to. There's a physical shutter that you can close to cover the camera lens, as well as a button to mute the microphone and disable the camera. Amazon says the Echo Show 15 only actively listens when it hears the wake word, which could be Alexa, Amazon, computer, Echo, or Ziggy. Speaking of camera, you could also choose to leave it on and then use it for home monitoring when you're away. When enabled, the Alexa app lets you drop into your Echo Show to remotely check up on your home. The Amazon Echo Show 15 is now available and retails for $249.99 or $279 with a tilt stand. I'll put a link in the description box below. And that was our Echo Show 15 unboxing and hands-on. I'm curious, now that you've seen the Echo Show in every size, which one is your gadget match? Or if you're like me and have an Echo in every room, which room would you choose to put the Echo Show 15 in? Sound off in the comments section below. Folks, we have a lot of videos coming your way, so make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we upload. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.